shoes. Tell me a girl who doesn't value her shoe collection, whether that shoe collection consists of five pairs of shoes or 55 pairs of shoes, all of them are important to us. It's true, isn't it? I have quite a lot of shoes. I've collected them for quite some time. Some are more worn, more loved than others. I've got them in every single color. I've got, you know, stilettos, I've got flat shoes, I've got boots, I've got leather, I've got canvas, I've got strappy, I've got sequins, you name it, I have it. I don't see them as, you know, just a, something you put on your feet. I see them as an investment. Even my daughter, she's four, she turned to me one day and she went, Mommy, will I get these shoes one day? And I was like, if you're lucky. Saying that, there are a few other things that I wouldn't want to live without. For instance, my treadmill is a very important part of my life and I would do anything to look after it. It's parked right in my room, in front of the telly, next to the radio, near the fridge so I can have a little refreshment whenever I want because let's be honest if you like running and it's raining sometimes you don't want to go outside you just want to want to have a little workout from the comfort of your own home and I love it and I wouldn't want to live without it then of course if I'm going to mention those things I should really think about something else something that should mean a lot to me awkward if my husband was watching my engagement ring and I did once misplace it Every night I would take it off and uh, I came in one evening and decided to put it in a safe place till the morning. Took it off, put it down, went to sleep. Woke up, couldn't remember where that safe place was. Then one day it started raining, so I got my coat out of the wardrobe and as I took it out of the wardrobe there on my hanger was the ring. Now that is a safe place. <laughs> Just wish I'd remembered it.